The play is set in Moscow in 2005 and also in this sort of alternate fantastical fairy tale world. Annie, a 20 year old girl, is sent to Moscow by her mother to improve her Russian vocabulary for business. But what she ends up learning is this lovely other language altogether that is um, full of nuance and subtlety and um, magic. And Meg has created this wonderful universe where these two words, worlds collide and not just come up against each other but they sort of start melding, blending into each other like that. You think you're seeing one thing and then it changes and transforms and you see something else altogether. Meg has drawn from these actual Slavic fairy tales. Interweaving the, the darkness and the hope and the playfulness of those stories into a real world with real characters. She will meet these other chicks who are in various states of um, uh, abusive relationships. And they really don't know how to negotiate the dangers that are around them, and it's them figuring that out. We start realizing that a lot of these characters are living lives that are a little bit more magical than what Annie's used to. She bands together with them to help them um, escape their situations, and in doing so, she actually reinvents her own self as a, a woman who has stories to tell of her own. I'm very intrigued by the word girls and um, you know the, how sort of fraught and complicated it can be. And as we say in the play, Devushka in Russian refers to any girl under the age of 70. The thing that makes this play a great play is that underneath the fairy tale aspect is um, this uh, you know incredible portrait of these four young women who are raging against the roles that society's put them into or embracing them and trying to f figure out how to make society work for them as best as possible at the core of the story it's really about this this young girl finding her identity in the world and in relationship to these other women